Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late, out of date, raw review. Starts off with Cena and Sandow. Cena cuts a promo. Sandow comes out, beats the shit out of Cena. Briefcase shots, like 20 of them. Chair shots, the head on the stairs. Head on the barricades. Then he cashes in. Match was exciting. I thought for sure that Sandow would win. But then he fucking lost. Fuck, I'm still depressed today after that. Perfect moment for Sandow to become champ. All fucked. Second match, the Shield against the Usos again and Big E. Here, here's my thoughts there. Right here, alright? I am sick of these Shield and Uso matches. For fuck's sakes, give it up. And then we had Shawn Michaels cutting a promo. Daniel Bryan comes out. They're face to face. And Bryan beat up Shawn Michaels. He put him in the cross face, the LaBelle, the, the LaBenoit cross face there. So finally, Brian got retribution, he beat up Michaels, then he got his ass kicked by the Wyatts. Huh? What? Why? Fuck! <laughs> can, can the guy get over just a little bit without getting fucked? <laughs> what a pile of bullshit. Third match, speaking of bullshit. The Matadors defeated 3MB. They were chasing the bowl around the little bowl with a big oversized net trying to catch the bowl. It's officially for three-year-olds, not five, six-year-olds. Three-year-olds, now it's official. What a pile of garbage. Fourth match, AJ and Tamina defeated the Bellas. Nothing there except AJ's body. The rest was shit. Fucking shit. Fifth match. Kane defeated The Miz in about 45 seconds. So nothing big there. And then Kane turned heel. He's kissing Stephanie McMahon's ass. He says he's going to do what's good for business. So, you know, Kane is now going to be beating up people for Triple H2, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> then CM Punk cut a promo about a minute or two long, and it was just boring. Apparently, he promised that he would beat up Heyman, and he delivered. No, it was not two-on-one. False advertising. You did not do shit, and the match sucked. Okay, so... And Punk's promo sucked as well. Sixth match, Punk versus Ryback. A street fight, which lasted about two minutes again there. Uh, Ryback gets kicked in the head, like this. Then he pl places himself on the table, just like the pay-per-view. Elbow smash, cheap submission, finished, so... Ryback is officially a pathetic jobber at this point, all right? Seventh match, the real Americans defeated the Rhodes, so I'm happy for them. That was a good match. You know, they get beat up by the Matadors, then they beat the Tag Champs. Bit of a, a fuck up in the storytelling there, but I'm happy that they won. Then Alberto Del Rio cut a promo. The promo was about 25 seconds long. That's it. And it sucked. Straight up, the promo sucked. Okay, he doesn't have his magic anymore. There's something very off with Alberto. And then in the main event, Natalia defeated Summer Rae. Summer Rae, very hot, very sexy, but... Why is she in the goddamn main event, people? I mean, really. That's the main event of Raw. A fucking shit show with Cena screwing people. You put divas in the main event. Ah, uh, fucks! Ah! Then it finished with Orton 
doing a little celebration with Triple H, same shit, for the last fucking ten years, it seems. And then Stone Cold Big Show Austin came out there. He punched Orton, you know. So I guess he's the star. You know, it's Brian that's supposed to get pushed. Instead, they're pushing Big Show. Quite frankly, I didn't, you know, mark out at all for Big Show coming out. I think this show fucking sucked. Not just because of Sandow, but... Everything was cheap, you know, apart from one or two okay matches. Shit sucked. Fucking sucked. What a ripoff. Fucking garbage show. Pay-per-view. Then we get this, and it's like getting a kick in the fucking testicles by WWE. Over and over and over again, for fuck's sakes. Alrighty, till next time. Peace.